Here's another small experiment you can do with inertia. Take a stack of checkers or game pieces like I have here. Oh, or coins. Coins work really well. And a ruler or something else that's flat. This is the kind of stick they give you at the hardware store to stir your paint with. Now you can knock checkers out of the middle of the stack without the stack falling over if you're very careful. You see, the friction of the checkers leaving the middle of the stack won't be enough to overcome the inertia of the rest of the checkers. Ready? Now, let's max it out. Oh, oh, I have these pizza boxes, and they should work the same way. You see, uh, you get a stack, and don't worry, I've already eaten all the pizza. And I put them on there like that, and now I need a ruler. And what I've got is this cricket bat. You see, it's got a nice flat edge, just like the ruler. Now, if this works right, I can hit it hard enough to knock out just one or two pizza boxes, and the rest of the stack should stay. Here we go, ready? <laughs> Science! Awesome. <laughs> and there you have it, Newton's first law. An object at rest tends to stay at rest, and an object in motion tends to stay in motion. An object in motion tends to stay in motion. Usually there's a sign that kind of...